Gardner, how are you adjusting to your new team and obviously getting a chance to meet a lot of guys? They've talked about becoming friends with you. Can you just talk about the adjustment, please? Oh, man, been loving it. Uh, fourth team in the NFL now, so, you know, you kind of get used to being the new guy and, you know, making friends and uh, building trust. I think that's a big thing what we're trying to do right now. Uh, it's been a blast, man. I love the guys. I think we have such a good energy, some great leaders on the team, and uh, a lot of a lot of expectations. Gardner, I know as well players, you get to train, train anywhere, and you train in Jacksonville, Heat, and that type of thing. But being here on the West Coast, kind of like Washington, in this kind of conditions, does it make it a little bit of, 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 of a better place to work type of a thing? Dude, you can't help but to smile out here. I'm just like cheesing the whole time. It feels so good. It's so nice. Sun shining. Like, couldn't, couldn't ask for more right now, man. You mentioned four different teams. Is it like a secret to fitting in in a locker room? Like you don't want to come in hot, like you know, just be kind of crazy or whatever. I guess. Well, how do you fit in in a locker room? How does that How does that work? Yeah, man. I think you know, one is you know, not expecting anything. Nothing's gonna be given to you. Nobody really gives a crap what you did in your last team. Like you got to come earn it here, um, and just being yourself, man. Everybody can kind of see through any front or pretense, uh, but I think everybody, no matter how it comes out, can resonate with you know, really being yourself and. We've got a lot of guys that are doing that. It makes it a lot of fun. Hey, you talked about the competition being actually fun between you two. Is that how you see it in terms of what's going on here? Dude, we've had an awesome room so far, man. And uh, it's going to be a competition. It's going to be tough. It's going to be only one guy on the field. But that doesn't mean we're not all going to push to help this team in every way we can. Uh, that's what we were kind of talking about after today's practice. Like, whoever's in a quarterback, no matter what field, like, we have, it's our responsibility to lead this team and lead our team to wins. Four different teams you've had your share of playbooks. What's it been like absorbing Luke Getzies? Yeah, so, I mean, kind of at this point, you've seen all the concepts. Everybody just has different names for it. So, you know, it's a little bit of memorization there, but a lot of it translates and being able to kind of use things and things are taught different ways and uh, just having a lot of perspective at it really helps. And it's fun to take that into this offense where you have a lot of tools to be successful. Gardner, maybe yesterday talked about how important it is to get you all out away from your families, away from everyone, just to kind of focus on that brotherhood. How much does that help you being the new guy? Oh man, uh, I'm focused on it all the time, so it don't matter to me, you know? I mean, there's nothing I'd rather be doing right now. This is an incredible opportunity with such a good team. And man, I just couldn't be more grateful for it. Garner, when Antonio says that he really has no timelines on when he wants to anoint or name the starter, what, what's your knee-jerk reaction as somebody that's in that competition? Oh, man, I really don't listen to the press clippings. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, nah, man, I'm just trying to get out of here, get better, try to lead the team as best I can. Uh, you know, if I can lead this team to wins, I'll be out there. If Aiden does it better, he'll be out there. Uh, but I'm on a journey to get better myself, and uh, I believe I can play this league, play at a high level. Went to the Pro Bowl last year, had a blast doing that, and just excited for moving forward. So there's no timeline then to, to name the starter. You're okay with that as, as competitor? Dude, my or? senior year at Washington State, uh, every single game, it was Gardner Minshew or Trey Tinsley or Anthony Gordon. So, like, you know, it is what it is. Uh, if you're out there, it's going to be a heck of a time. And, um, you know, just going to try to put our best foot forward and lead the team best we can. Gardner, you played on you played on some pretty good teams in the NFL. Uh, the Eagles was a really good team. When you look, around, I know it's early, but when you look around the talent that's been assembled here, what, what do you see from this group? Yeah, no, I mean it's hard not to get excited. First on our side of the ball, the offensive skill guys, like whoa, like you look out there and everybody can get open. You know, there's not a one on one that you don't like. Uh, offensive line, we got dudes up there, guys that really mesh well and can work well together. And then we got a defense that finishes the year as hot as anybody. You know, talent all across. I'd say the biggest thing I've seen on this team is just the leaders, man. At every, about every position group, both sides of the ball. Like, that's what's really exciting, and that's what's got to carry you. There's plenty of teams of talent, but who's going to kind of come together and bring it together when it gets tough? And I think we got this to do it. What did you feel like you need to focus on between minicamp and now, and what did you do to be able to focus on those things? Yeah, for me, it was studying my butt off, man. I had to really dive into the playbook. I wanted to know it like the back of my hand. Uh, I've been telling guys since we got back, like there's such a confidence that comes from knowing you're prepared. And uh, that's what I wanted. I wanted that confidence, and I feel like I got it. And I'm excited just to use everything I've learned to uh, put our team in a great position. Has the bus made it to Vegas yet? I got a, I got a van now, downsized. The bus was too much space, you know. So now I got the van. Uh, it's pretty awesome, awesome camping outside of Vegas. You know, once it cools down a little bit more, uh, it'll be pretty nice to be able to sneak away for a night, you know, get away, reset a little bit. Uh, you know, Mount Charleston's pretty cool. Lake Mead's cool. Colorado River a little bit, you know. Uh, but yeah, awesome. <laughs>
some good stuff there. Gardner, has anyone on offense kind of jumped out to you to where, you know, almost surprised you a little bit? Like, I knew this guy was good and he's actually better than I thought. Anybody like that? Uh, man, I'll tell you, the one dude that, like, everybody I've talked to around the league really respects, like, because they see it on the film, is Jacoby Myers. That dude goes so hard and so about it, like, loves this game and practices like it. It's uh, really just cool to be a part, you know, and see guys that are like that. They're going to do whatever it takes, going to put themselves in position to help the team, whether it's blocking, catching the ball, running off. Like, he really does it all, and it's cool to be around those kind of guys. You mentioned being a weekly competition in college. How much do you draw upon that to help you prepare? Yeah, no, I mean, I think uh, it's a lot about focus. I think you can start, start looking over your shoulder or worried about what somebody else is doing that's super counterproductive. So for me, just worrying about my game, where can I get better, how can I improve, um, I think that's where the focus has to be and not on anything else. What have been your first impressions of uh, Brock Bowers? Oh uh, man, quiet, but uh, no, nah, really good, dude. He's like, you can see it in OTAs, like, he's a super solid route runner, but once he gets the ball, he doesn't move like a tight end, you know, and there's a lot of fun stuff and creative stuff we'll be able to do with our tight end group um, and get some great matchups out there. Do you a guy like that? Do you try to draw it out of him if he's quiet, try to bring a personality? Oh, you definitely mess with him. You know, you try, you try to, you're going to get him up telling jokes before the team. You know, that'll be super awkward probably. But, uh, no, nah, man, you just try to bring those guys along. Um, you want everybody to feel like they can be open and be themselves in the room. And, uh, yeah, I'm not excited for him. Conversely, Michael is somebody that speaks a lot. Less quiet. Yeah, a little less quiet. Um, what, do you, what have you seen from him? The stud, man, like a true wide tight end, can put his hand in the dirt and block. But he's really surprised me, like as a route runner, as a guy that can get open and then attacks the ball in the air. Uh, and then dude's gonna be like mean after the catch, you know, like he has some of that George Kittle type stuff after the catch. Like it's really, uh, really cool to have multiple guys in that room. And even all the way down the line in that tight end room, guys are getting open doing the right things, man. So it's a, it's a fun group to be with. I saw that there was a lot of 13 personnel or some 13 personnel out there. Is that a friend to a quarterback having tight ends like that? that you can I think being able to mix it up in this league is huge. You know, having multiple personnel groups puts a lot of stress on the defense. Um, a lot of times the defense and, you know, the sub personnel is what mostly people play with. Have a, you know, stack plays that long, you get down to base, it's a little bit less. You know, the more uh, you can mix it up there, it's harder to defend. Uh, I don't know, man. I definitely think that's something uh, you know I feel, I feel good about. Been uh, really working on that the last few years. Uh, I got to be able to get out, protect the ball when I'm doing it, and uh, create explosive plays. That's a big part of this league: is explosive plays, and at time come on the kind of second move. Looks like when you are out of the pocket, you're having your most fun. Is that is that accurate? Uh, yeah, it's like flag football back in the day or like you know just that's truly just playing ball you know you got to find a guy that gets on the same page can react and uh that's a lot of fun so have you found the, the guy what kind of guys have you you mentioned jacoby is one of those guys that that, that can get on the same page with you when you're scrambling out of the pocket and any other guys do that for you well i mean like tay i mean like there's some telepathic stuff where we just see it and he he can get to it like you know just having a guy that's played so much ball it's fun to bounce ideas back and forth with him. I think we see it a lot in the same way. Uh, it's going to be a, a lot of fun to dig it in with him, uh, give him some freedom, because uh, there's nobody better at getting open than him. And um, yeah, I look forward to that. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.